Hey everybody, Movie Fan Z here. So it's been a couple days since I've watched this movie, but for the first time ever, I finally got around to seeing The Exorcist from 1973. So even though this is a popular movie and it's been around for 50 years now, I never got around to seeing it. I knew of a couple scenes, like the head spinning scene and her rising from the bed, but that's all I pretty much knew. So I was kind of going in with fresh eyes. And I will have to say, I pretty much, pretty well enjoyed it. Basically, in this movie... A girl, Reagan McNeil, played by Linda Blair. Sorry, I forgot her name for a second. And her mother, played by Ellen Burstyn. So, Reagan McNeil becomes possessed by a demon. And her mother enlists the help of two priests... One played by Max von Sydow, and one played by Jason Miller as Father Karras, to try to rid her daughter of this demon. So, here are my thoughts. I, like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought the, especially, the biggest thing in terms of positivity for me, was, were the performances. I especially liked Linda Blair, I liked Ellen Burstyn, and I liked Jason Miller. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jason Miller as Father Karras. So, and I actually think Father Karras is a bigger portion, which is, I also thought kind of weird when you look at like, the way the cast is, like, formatted, you have Max von Sydow as the bigger name. And I, he's in a little bit of the beginning, and then he's in the, the, pretty much the ending. But I feel like this is more of a Father Karras movie. I and again I like the story. I like the horror aspect. I was on the edge of my seat because I didn't know where it was going. The only thing I will have to say, a little bit negative, but it makes sense for movies, is that it took a little bit to get going. You're not introduced to Reagan and her mom. In a two hour movie. In, until like. About 15-20 minutes in. And that might be normal. But it seems like. You had such a big. Opening. That I was wondering. If that was necessary. And I guess it. Is a little bit. But. It took a little bit to get going to the main characters. But I'm still going to give this a pretty high score. My final score is a 4 out of 5 Zs. But this is my review for 1973's The Exorcist. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fanzie signing off. Have a good night.